pull over and you need to tell the man to your shoes. If you're a passenger in a vehicle and a car stops, you still have a duty to disclose, even as a passenger. If you're in a bus and the police stop the bus, you have to tell them, wow. even though you're a passenger on a bus. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Do we need to disclose? Wow. Yeah. 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 Customers that come in and say they want the house, they went up and had to get down guns that were in the house oh, versus right. they were there. Yeah. They legally own those guns? Yes. Now, on the issue of binding gun, particularly in storage units, guys buy storage units, they find guns, they buy a house, there's guns. So the state police on their website, they have questions. One of the questions is actually that where they say, yes, you can keep them. And they talk about the abandoned property and other things, and they give the green light, that's perfectly fine to keep them. But then they recommend that you uh, register them and do it, and I say, thank you, but no thank you. So that's the second part. But if you want to see it in writing about the abandoned property issue and all that, state police, FAQ, the biggest question is, 23 went right on there, you'll see that. Yeah? And same with people, particularly landlords and tenants, leave they need guns. Part of the state, too. Yes. But if you have your kids still carry and you don't have anything in your car, you can hold them. You don't have to just hold the car. Right, that's a good question. People say, you still have a duty to disclose if you don't have a gun? No. If you have a gun in the car, you don't, you don't, you don't disclose that, not at all. But if you are. Even if you're transporting it, unloading case, so you still, if you have that permit, you have to tell them. If you don't have a permit, you don't. But if you do, you do. But if it's so gone, no disclosure. Yeah. So can you just clarify, you talk about this lockbox. Are you, is it, um, where does it stand as far as me locking, say, a gun in my um, book bag, in the trunk of the car, go to Pennsylvania to go to a range? Well, that is okay, but I'm trying to give you the best way to do it, but if you have it unloaded, it's in a case, in this case the backpack, and it's in the trunk, which is actually a separate thing itself, and just being in the trunk is a protector, then you're, you're absolutely fine. But if you want to also have some element of theft protection, even beyond what the federal law requires, you know, you want to actually protect your property too, then you can't really beat those lock boxes because they have that steel cable wrapped around the base of the seat. They lock it in there, it's, it's literally you know, secured to the vehicle as well. Slide it under your seat. Now you've really protected your ownership interest in it and demonstrated should ever be questioned just how responsible a gun owner you are by securing it in a manner designed for such security. And you